Game three of Chelsea's pre-season sees the start of the Blues Roadshow. Jose Mourinho and his players are in Austria. And if the name Klagenfurt sounds familiar to you, that'll probably be because this stadium played host to plenty of games at Euro 2008, which you might remember was the start of Spain's golden spell in international football. Well, Chelsea are here with the Spanish contingent now involved in training, at least if not on the field tonight. But the first batch of World Cuppers are amongst this touring party. There are some familiar faces for these fans to see and some new names who will soon be wearing West London blue for the first time. RZ Pellets, previously known as Wolfsberger, provide the opposition. And they should be decent opposition too, having already begun their domestic schedule. Expect to see Chelsea tested a little more perhaps than they were away to Wickham and Wimbledon, Clive Walker. Well, this is where the test starts, Ben, for me. You know, we've had those two games. We've uh, played some of the younger lads and still playing them this evening. But some of the bigger names now starting these pre-season matches. And the test is starting to come now. We, we talk about the fitness and we all know that these guys are probably super fit before pre-season even starts. But once they enjoy themselves in these pre-season games, the fitness comes on in leaps and bounds. None more than, of course, our leader, John Terry. To see him with the captain's armband at the front of the queue. And, uh, I'm sure he'll be now demanding more from all the players throughout these pre-season games. Well, I was, uh, I was going to ask you about that for most of this group, not all of them, but for most of them, this is game three. What sort of level are you at now? You've blown out those initial cobwebs, and you know what I mean, after a couple of games where you're huffing and puffing for a bit, or are you still, are you way off full whack at this point, third game in? I, I firmly don't believe that any of them are way off, Ben, to be honest. Um, the way football is today, you know, the uh, mentality, you know, and the way they look after themselves. And uh, I think that these guys are just below par. And it take, still takes a couple of games, but probably took us in our day, you know, you, you're going into the season still not 100%. But these guys are super fit and get up to speed very, very quickly. And of course, it's all about the opposition as well. You know, the more pressure you put under, the harder you work, the harder you push yourself. And you as an individual actually know. These guys know when they're ready, when they're going to be fit. And if they feel they're maybe going a little bit too quick, they can step off the, the pace just a little. Whereas the others, just coming back now, they need to step it up a little bit more. But the younger ones, I guess they just continue in the same vein. They're probably pretty fit already but there's a difference between under 21 and first team level. So the fitness, there's a gap between the two. Well, the home side is almost all Austrian. The Brazilian Silvio and the Serbian Runic are both rested, but otherwise this is pretty much their first choice side. So you can tell what a big deal this is for them. Tadej Tudina is a forward in form and so is Jacobo, who is a Spanish creative type. This is how they'll line up. Although uh, Jacobo, you may see him with Clan on the back of his shirt. That's not a spelling error, that is what it actually what it actually is. Speaking of Spanish creative types, well, we were hoping that we might get a first glimpse of Cesc Fabregas tonight, but uh, you are going to have to wait just a little longer to see him because he's not involved this evening. Pretty much uh, informal formalities, if you like, going on there. You are going to see some youth in this Chelsea side, as you can see. The skipper's there, Sol Bauer on the right, Terry on the left, and a first outing for the new blue Chelsea home kit after a couple of goes in yellow. Well, Fabregas's uh, fellow new boy, Felipe Luis, however, does play from the start too in a strong looking back five that also includes Petr Cech. Kurt Zuma brings a bit of youth back there and there's plenty of youth about further forward. Baker, Brown, Bamford, they all start the three Bs having impressed so far this summer. Matic and Van Hinkle anchoring there in the middle. Great looking back five though, Clive, isn't it? Very solid, yeah. Looks really good, doesn't it? And nice to see Kurt Zuma in there as well, alongside John Terry. And I'm sure Jose Mourinho will be looking um, for a partnership at the back. I mean, we know Gary Cahill, obviously, and JT were excellent last season. But I guess, you know, maybe one or two injuries, maybe at times might, might want to rest JT. So uh, we'll be looking at Kurt Zuma maybe to, to fill that void. With Brano, obviously, on my back. And of course, with David Luiz gone, so yes, uh, Chelsea fairly fortunate. So we have a look at uh, Didi Kubauer, the home boss there. Fairly fortunate to not have 
injuries to Cahill or Terry really last season. There is Felipe Luis. I guess that's the headline news really from a, a Chelsea team sheet point of view. His first go in Chelsea blue. All eager to see what he looks like. We had a, a good look at him over two legs in the Champions League semi-final, of course, last season. But uh, we'll try not to bring that one up too much. Away we go then in Klagenfurt.